Hey, so I'm back with just one song today. I happened to have a little bit of time yesterday to do some ukulele-ing. Um, and I have a list of other songs I want to eventually try, but doing the, the patient song from Music Machine has had my head going down the childhood rabbit hole and I eventually do want to do more songs from that tape and I'm sure I will. But this song is from another uh, tape I had as a kid and it wasn't, I don't know that it was necessarily a Christian tape, but it's a moral tape. Um, although, yeah, I guess you would say it was because it's based on the story of the prodigal son from the Bible. Um, but it doesn't actually mention God or anything like that in the, in the story or in the songs. And it's just a good moral story and it's got some great songs that go with it. And this particular song is just the prettiest song on the, the album, as far as I'm concerned, is just gorgeous. It's like kind of hauntingly beautiful and is one that has stuck in my head all these years, like most of them, but especially this one. And I would try to sing it from time to time, but I always got the words in the wrong order. And I realized as I, I actually had to type out the lyrics to this one, I couldn't find them online. Like I could find the songs on YouTube, etc., and lists of the songs on different sites, but none of them had the lyrics. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just listen to it, type them out because it's not super long. But I figured out why I could never remember the words in the right order is because nothing repeats in this song. Like it's a whole song and there's no chorus. There's no, I mean, obviously some notes and things repeat, uh, but yeah. There's no repetition, so it, that's why I kept getting confused uh, <laughs> and couldn't remember the whole thing. So this is the Repent Ants song. Yes, it is spelled that way on purpose in the title. I don't know. I'm not just misspelling repentance, um, but that's the whole point of this tape. It's called Ant Sylvania, and it's about a village of ants in this one particular ant. Antony, who decides to go out on his own and become a star because he's too good for this, you know, work all day life, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's full, full, chock full of ant puns. And it's, I, I, I blame this album for my enduring love of puns. Like I, I will laugh at a pun just about any, any old time. No pun is too stupid for me to laugh at. Um, but this this album is full of them and like so cleverly written. It's just witty as can be. Um, I don't think there are any puns in this song other than the title. But yeah, so that just gives you an idea of some of the things that go on in this in this tape. But I will sing for you now. The Repentance song. Yeah. If it will stand up. One moment. Technical difficulties. There we go. You gotta stay up. I'm just watching it to make sure it's not moving. Okay, I think we're good. Here am I. was mine and foolishly I chose it now nothing will ever be the same so here am I standing on the outside wishing I were inside close to you all alone 
paper started moving halfway through and I was like don't fall don't fall um yay I don't think I screwed up any of the chords on that one that makes me happy um doesn't mean my singing was perfect but who cares it never is and who was it that said perfection was overrated on my last video that I think that was guys that you gal I think that was gal um yes perfection is 100% overrated so yeah, but I hope you understand now why this song has just always stuck in my head and is just so beautiful. It's so beautifully written, and I have no idea who wrote that album. Again, it's something else I should research at some point. Um, see if they're still alive. Send them a note. Be like, hey, just want you to know I'm 40 years old and still love puns because of Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a great. It's a great album. It's so good. And yeah, I had it on tape, but it, again, I said tape with Music Machine as well, which is, I had it on cassette tape, but it probably was on a record as well, I imagine. I don't know. Back then they did both for pretty much everything. Um, but I'm glad I had it on tape so we could bring it with us on car trips and listen to the two of these over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And yeah, there are other bits of song from this that I'll just break out in randomly <laughs> here and there. And my computer is like spinning up for no reason right now, so or just the fans going. Um, so I apologize if that's messing with the audio quality. I doubt it's loud enough to be super obnoxious. Um, while I'm up here, I might redo with you just for funsies. Because I realized the other day, like, well, probably yesterday, um, that when it comes to notes that are too low for my register, I just automatically figure out other notes to sing in place of them. Um, but when it's high notes, I always try to hit them, except for in Take On Me. I did at least alter the super high note in that song because I knew I couldn't hit it, um, or at least not well. So, but, but pretty much any other song I'm like oh it's a high note I can do that because in the past I generally could but I'm having to come to terms with the fact that my voice has changed over the years and I can't necessarily hit all of the high notes as well as I used to and if I do ever take voice lessons that may be something I I try to develop again is that that skill to hit those high notes well and it it also makes a difference like sitting versus standing and I'm doing all of these just sitting stop messing with the focus maybe if I just put this down it'll stop doing that um because yeah honestly you should be standing to get the best quality out of your voice when you're singing but and I can stand and play the ukulele it's not like it's resting on my leg like I'm holding it in place just with my arms just holding it up against my body um, but to get that on tape, like, I don't even know where a camera would have to go for that to really work, and eh. I'm like, whatever, it's good enough for this, and I know I'm rambling again, but hey, I'm still under 10 minutes, so <laughs> you can't be too mad. Um, but yeah, I figured just, like, I think yesterday at breakfast, I was thinking about the With You song, and I was like, Huh, I wonder if I could have done this. And I did one version, I was just like, eh, that still hits that note. It's more briefly, but it still hit, hits it. And then I did another little version. I was like, well, duh, there. That works beautifully and don't have to hit those crazy notes. Um, so I may do that. And if I do, I'll just put it up on YouTube. I won't put it on Facebook again. 
<laughs> we'll just be like, with you, try number two or something. I don't know. But yeah, I, at least with the Repentance song, I was able to hit those those few high notes. Um, yeah. it's I think it's easier, too, when it's a song you've been singing literally almost your whole life. Like, your voice is just kind of trained. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I can hit that note. I've been hitting that note since I was four or whatever age. Um, yeah. So, okay. I don't think I have anything else to say right now. <laughs> But I just wanted to pop up here and do the song while I had it ready to do. Um, and I'll probably... Oh, wait. I haven't even put out Patience yet. Yeah, I need to do that. Maybe I'll put that out today. And then I'll put this one out a couple of days later. So you'll know what I'm talking about. Because I'm talking about the Patience song in this video. Um, yeah. So Music Machine and Ansylvania. Classics. Classics. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Bye!